All right, so let's talk through setting up our custom conversions within Facebook. Now that we have our pixel placed on the page, we have our page fi pages finalized, we have them duplicated out. Um, this is the next step. It's incredibly important so that um, our campaigns are successful. So there's a few steps here that we want to make sure we absolutely get right. So we'll toggle over here to the menu navigation and go to custom conversions. And we'll go here. We see we have some set up from a previous campaign, which is fine. We'll go to create custom conversion. And then from there, we're going to go back to the Excel spreadsheet we created. So again, um, we don't have all four, but typically we would. This is just an example. So we're going to grab each URL. So I'll start with the first one and I'm going to drop that in. You're going to drop it in once with the HTTPS uh, colon and two slashes, hit space. You're going to drop it in again. And we're actually going to remove these. Helps with tracking, um, believe it or not. I need to make sure we do that every single time. I'm going to go to my next funnel. I want to make sure right now we're just doing the opt-in page. And I'm going to go back to Facebook, drop it in once, okay, drop it in again, remove these, all right, come back. And now, again, typical example, you go 1003, 1004, include all of those. Now I'm going to scroll down and we'll just call this um, demo content view. And we'll select view content and then value will be one. If you remember in the previous video, we set up our content view as $1. We want those to be the same. Create, done. Brings this up, we're good. Click that little arrow to go over, no activity yet. Obviously there's no activity on the pixel because there's no traffic to it, we're not using it. Um, but you'll definitely, if you don't see this, after you've launched your campaign and you're getting traffic, then you certainly need to check and see if something has been um, missed or uh, just yeah there's an oversight or anything like that okay now we'll come back create custom conversion and we'll do this for the next page and this will be our lead page right so everybody has to pass through this page to become a lead which means they end up on the second page and that's the application page so I'll copy this URL drop it in same thing again and paste it come over here remove back, go back to our funnel, go to page 1002, copy, and come back to Facebook, drop it in, remove this, again I would do this two more times if I had 1003, 1004, um, name, we'll name this demo lead, and we'll go here to lead obviously and then we'll make this by the same which was eight and we'll click create now this one's incredibly important because this is actually where we will optimize all of our campaigns to in Facebook we can only optimize one level down one layer down and so it's to the second page we can't optimize to the complete registrations page which is ultimately where we want them to get and if we ran a retargeting ad we could but for this case we're not doing that uh, but we still need to set it up just like we're saying with the content you have the information there have it set up correctly so we'll create our custom conversion again, come back over to our spreadsheet, we're going to grab the third page, which is the thank you page, we'll copy this URL, come back to Facebook, drop it in, one more time, remove that, go back, grab the next page, copy, paste, paste again, remove, again I'd do that two more times, name, We'll name this demo. Typically, this would be whatever the campaign name is, obviously. Um, but for this purpose, it's just demo. We're going to say um, application submitted. And then we'll go to select category and we'll select complete registrations. We need to put that same value in, which in the previous videos you saw, we had 35. Create. Done. Now our complete. Reg registration is set up, which is someone landing on the application.
application page. So that's how we set those up. Um, next, we'll talk about setting up custom audiences, which is different than custom conversions. So I want to keep that straight. All right. Thank you.